Alright friends, one and all, welcome back to UKSG Red 2024, I'm Paul Lister, and for these last three runs of this event, I will be your host, your donation reader, your context provider, and all sorts of other things. Thank you for helping us raise $5,000 so far, and let's get that 6000 for the unofficially announced Argix Onyx suit, maybe, who knows, but we'll, we'll find <laughs> out. In the meantime... Uh, this event, we're raising money for Crisis. You can donate with the links below the stream. We would also like to shout out ESA and BSG for their continued support. And now, presenting a special feature. Very special. Howlin' Mad Mike <laughs> has, uh, from what I gather, a bunch of Flash games to uh, present here uh, in a very quick and rapid manner. So, Howlin' Mad Mike, whenever you're ready, take it away. Thank you. Yes, this is Flash Dash. Um, I am going to be speedrunning. This is I'm going for a more comedic angle with this because, as I'm sure a lot of you are aware, Flash games, a few were amazing, some were great, most were okay, and a massive pile of them were awful. This is going to be a bit of a collection of all of them. Um, we're going to be starting off um, with a game called You Only Live Once. The quirk of this game is that you only have one life. If I die, I can't play the game again. That's it. This is a, this is I've downloaded this for the uh, UKSG Red system. It's a one and done. If I die, the only thing I'll see if I load back is my girlfriend mourning me and then my grave, and that's all I'll ever see. And eventually, if I opened it like a thousand times, I'd pop up as a zombie. <laughs> that's it. I can't play. So whenever. Everyone is ready. We will make a start. And I will just uh, warn and uh, preemptively thank Tech. Um, these are Flash games. Uh, they are a little bit crude in terms of audio and resolution. So you might see a few weird and wonderful things going on. I'm sure they will do their best. But uh, this is not their fault. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm just being nice to them now. This is not their fault. Whatever happens, and I'm not washing my own hands of it either. But three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> So we'll go uh, in English. I'm going to let the intro play out here because it's actually quite amusing. And if uh, Troy Crow is in the room, the man who does the voice for Sir Giant Pink Lizard also does a voice in Cassette Beasts. But I'm going to let the audio play out. And it's the only time I'll let an intro What's roll. This? Dear Jermaine, I've kidnapped your girlfriend. Yours truly, Sir Giant Pink Lizard. P.S. <laughs> Oh, that stupid old lizard. I'll save her sooner than you can say the Intel i7 is awesome. <coughs> I'm D-Rosen. <coughs> Excuse me. And I will say as well, I've been practicing, practicing this Thank a truckload. So if I can actually beat this game, I will slap $20 on the table. But it is very challenging. And ignore the stuff going on at the sides. Again, that's just a quirk. And if uh, one of the evil minions touches me and the game ends, uh, yeah, all you see is the lawsuit, them getting arrested and uh, sued. <laughs> I'm going to take my time here because I'm a little out of the uh, usual pattern I would like, but there we go. Now these platforms here absolutely terrify me because there is one coming up that seems to occasionally decide to not exist. It's there, but it disappears. So fingers crossed that will be there. I was trying to get a very low angle jump on that minion there to, uh, I jump lower, I don't hit the platform above, I got past that, that's a horrible jump section because those cannons run, move slightly faster than you jump, so this is the really horrible bit. This next platform may exist, it may not, we're about to find out. It exists, <laughs> as I nearly just fell off.
And that gold statue we just passed is a bit of a teaser as to what Mr. Sir John Pink Lizard looks like. But, and here we are, boss fight time. He is giant. He is pink. He is a lizard. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't do this attack. I've got to be careful here, but at the same time, I'm trying to position him just because he makes the ending makes a lot more sense if he's in shot. <laughs> there we go. That's one down. I'm going to let the ending play out because it's rather amusing. Hey, we got a call on a public disturbance in this area. Did any of you hear? Oh my god. You are so under arrest. But, but they kidnapped my girlfriend. <laughs> I'm not really dating, though, officer. I didn't do anything. <laughs> what are you arresting me for? No, no, don't chase me, bro. Ow, 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 it hurts. Ow. And that is the end. If you only live once, if I go back, all we will see is the minions mourning the death of Sir John Pink Lizard. But yes, that is one down. We have several more to go. Oh, I can't skip these intros, unfortunately. But, you know, in fairness, credit because, you know, Armagames, Newgrounds.com, they were all part of this flash revolution in the somewhat earlier day, while well, westish days of the internet. But this is the visitor, and I am an alien, and I assimilate things, and well, you'll see what happens. So first things first, it is just a relatively basic point and click horror title. First thing I want to do is get the frog to eat me, because uh, Mr. Frog is about to have a bad time. I have frog powers. I set everything up here, and I surreptitiously now set off a fish where I jump on the rod and I use the fish's weight to bounce me into the next section. Here we have a cat. Aww. The cat doesn't like me, so I have to try and find a way to distract it for the moment. So uh, I spit on the web. The web attracts flies. The flies attract the spider. The spider attracts the cat. It's all quite logical. I try and turn the handle. I'm not big enough yet. Now we have the cat that's like onto me. And a sneak through. <laughs> now, you, you may have had a clue there, but, you know, no spoilers. Now, here we have a really complicated puzzle that I can just solve with two pushes. Now, I need to get past the cat. How do we think I'm going to do that? <laughs> Huds, if you ever needed a new Twitch uh, <laughs> emoticon, this might be the one. <laughs> so now we have cat powers. I think at this point it might be just a touch too late to say that some of these flash games may contain disturbing scenes, so please. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, it's a very disturbing one just coming up, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm leaving the dog alone, and I'm a, I'm a dog person anyway, so, you know. <laughs> right, so, uh, let me, uh, so I release the bird. I have to, whoops, I knock over the bird seed, it attracts the bird. Bye bird. And now I'm flying. Uh, this man is snoring, let's put a stop to that. <laughs> and now you can just see us lurking under the bed here. Now, this game does have two endings. Either I can help the last person survive, or I can just let the creature kill them. I'm going to help them su survive. So I have to uh, shut the door, pick up the toilet roll, pull in the toilet, flood the toilet, run the bath, flood the floor a bit more, pick up this hairdryer, plug it in, put it in the bath with the creature. Please do not take a bath with a hairdryer, and the creature is dead. But he still kills us regardless. <laughs> And that is the end of the visitor. We may see another visitor before the end of the run. Now, here we have a total meme run. This might display a bit weird. <laughs> now, I, I will confess as well, this is a technically a Unity game, but, you know, it's... Welcome to Lee Carvello's putting challenge. I am Carvello. Now, choose a club. 
Uh, what club? I think I want the three you wood. You have chosen a three wood. May I suggest a putter? No, I want the three, three wood. Three wood. Now enter the force of your swing. I suggest feather touch. Feather touch or power drive? Power drive. <laughs> you have entered power drive. Now push seven, eight, seven to swing. Now, when Bart in The Simpsons did this, the ball ended up in the parking lot, but uh, I think he just had an execution problem. <laughs> Would you like to play a game? And just for the meme. You have selected no. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, we are moving on to The Legend of Zelda and the Lampshade of No Real Significance. <laughs> So um, here we start off as Link, and we already have our first boss, which is the Lampshade Guardian, the Invincible Sewer Demon. I cannot kill him, but fortunately I can just pull out this convenient plug. <laughs> and here we have the Mystical Lampshade. I need to take it to the Temple of Light in the north. I, uh, there we go, I can just about uh, get onto the ladder here. PC World and McDonald's, other computer and fast food restaurants are available. Here we have Randy, the temple guard, and I'm going to save you a fair bit of reading. He wants me to get his lunch, so I'm taking a trip to McDonald's. Oh, I can't move. I'm in an unskippable cutscene, and there's somebody leaving McDonald's. Yeah, basically, this game is going to be one big, as intended, swap -a -thon. Where did he go indeed? We have seen a little behind the curtain because I could do all the swapping necessary to get Randy his lunch, but thanks to the beauty of Flash Games, I can just scuttle up the side here. <laughs> now this is a little tricky. There we go, right. And there we go, we are past all of the guards. We are into the Temple of Light. Get ready for the greatest Zelda ending of all time. You place the lampshade on the altar. The Feng Shui of the room was perfected. And that's it. <laughs> the lampshade really did have no significance. We are on to Hedgehog launch next. This is a real classic. May I interject with a quick message in the meantime? You may. Absolutely. Well, we do have the incentive for Save or Kill the Animals in Super Metroid. That is the very next run here. Uh, Save the Animals is leading with $980. Kill the Animals is $791. So keep those donations coming for your favorite option. We are less than $700 away from being the second uh, best UKSG in terms of donations reached. So, yeah, keep those donations coming. Yes. Back to you. Yes, please do. And in terms of animals for this Flash Dash, I'm going to be just chaotic neutral. So <laughs> donate as you wish. Right, Hedgehog Launch. The object of this game is to get a hedgehog into space. You do that by launching yourself with a giant catapult into the sky, and you earn money that you can then spend on more upgrades. So here we have Mr. Hedgehog. Isn't he nice? And away he goes. Now, I only got up to about 400 foot, and... I'm not a physicist, but I think space is a little bit higher than that. <laughs> and as you can see there, I earned $1.20 for that jump, which is going to make this take a while. Now, um, I hope this is going to display okay with tech, but there is a way I can do this. Day two. Uh, so I'm going to... We may see behind the curtain a little here, but uh, it'll all be worth it. Now, if I just do this, you'll notice... S something rather unusual. Oh, oh. <laughs> and there goes Mr. Hedgehog. And that is Hedgehog Launch. And I'm going to let this play. I'm not going to let all the uh, outros go, but uh, he's quite cute, that Hedgehog. And there is an ending, which I quite like as well. So you know when you see a shooting star? <laughs> well, now you know. <laughs> right, we're on to a game called One Button Barb. 
uh, one button Bob is literally I just left click and he does things. Uh, this might look a little awkward, but uh, we're just going to have to power through this one. I said, unfortunately. Oh, close your eyes quickly if you. We've got a bit of Commodore loading there, but yeah, I'm just going to throw this one in there because it has a pretty awesome soundtrack. I'm aiming to get this under 200 clicks. But yeah, the idea of the game is it's made up of a number of mini games, and Bob can walk, he can jump, he, he can stop even, he's a superhero. So uh, if you have anything you'd like to say, please take your opportunity because Bob's just going to be uh, ambling from left to right. Yeah, Bob's going to be doing his thing and we're going to be doing ours. Yes, $609.44 is how much we need to beat UKSG Green 2023 and make this UKSG this, the event with the second highest donation total. Uh, we also have $998.85, which is how much we need for $6,000. This would be the second event to reach that milestone uh, in UKSG history, and uh, I think everybody here would celebrate a whole lot if that happened. So, folks, if you have, you know, d d dig through the couch cushions, see what you can scrounge up, and we can get uh, a lovely, lovely donation total here for Crisis, an amazing, amazing charity. Every dollar helps, as Skenmi puts it very, very aptly. Yeah, but yeah, how are you, Mad Mike? Back to you. Uh, thank you. We're at what is probably the hot. There you go. That was probably the hardest jump section in the entire game there. So, and I'm at the kind of two-third point, and Bobby's still going. Yeah, it's a fun little game. This, and particularly since you are pretty much just timing it off the clicks. Ooh. I did stopped a bit early there and I've stopped a bit late there. Sorry, Bob. Oh. I'm finding this a bit, just because of the weird resolution I'm at, I might have to just scooch my head in a little. So sorry if you get a bit of glare off the top of it. <laughs> this is another nasty little jump, but nope. Ah, there we go. That, that is hideous, but we're nearly at the end of this. Probably not going to get it under 200 clicks, but uh, uh, almost certainly not going to get it under 200 clicks now. Uh, yeah, it, it, no. <laughs> but here we have the last boss. And he is way... Yeah, there we go. That's 205 clicks. It could have been better. But that is one button, Bob. He gets the treasure, but he can only walk left to right, so he doesn't know how he's going to get it back. We are on to our next game now. I'm afraid there is a bit of foul language in this game, people. So we're going to have to show, we're going to have to show a degree of maturity here. This game is called Don't uh, <coughs> Your Pants. <laughs> it is classed as a survival horror. And for anyone who has ever needed to go and has appreciated how massive that last 10 yards can be, I think we can appreciate that this is most certainly a survival horror title. <laughs> so what is the object of this game? Yeah, well, it's quite simple, really. Don't poop yourself. So, so let's see. Okay. Pull door. Sit toilet. What could possibly go wrong here? Oh, so close and yet so far. Okay, as you can see, we have a number of achievements here for the end, <laughs> number of endings. So, uh, okay, so uh, let's, I mean, let's just, why not just do it on the floor? You know, and there's an achievement, Mr. Efficient. You needed to go, you just went. Now, we're going to do one of the, uh, let's just see, pull door. Let's, let's just do it normally this time. I mean, I'm grown up enough to know roughly how this works. So, pants off, sit toilet. Poop. And I forgot to sit. I must have mistyped. That's my bad. <laughs> maybe, I'm, maybe I'm not old enough to know about this. Pull door. Sit. Toilet. No, pants. Thank you. Pants. Pants off. Thank you. I'm learning all the time here. This is, this is better than Elmo. This is. I'm actually learning stuff here. Sit. Toilet. Poop. And there we go. We have the thinking in <coughs> inside the box award. So I can go to the toilet. 
We're going to do one of the uh, longer achievements here. So uh, I'm going to take a uh, diarrhea pill, uh, pill. And I need to pass gas, but um, again, I'm not going to try and be too crude, but if I just go, I'm not going to have the strength to hold it, so I've got to go gently. <laughs> so right. gently fart. And here we have about 30 seconds if you want to say anything. Uh, I do have a couple donations here. <laughs> Let the pill here. do its job. We have $10 from Z Zrilix saying, save them animals. Hedgehog in space doesn't count. <laughs> and five dollars from Leaf saying this is like a teeny tiny awful block heart <laughs> emoji. And both of those are going towards save the animals, which is now running away with it. So the uh, the, the folks on the opposite side of uh, this debate here, uh, what's your response? I haven't heard a lot from you at all. So uh, let's get those donations in, everybody. Back to you. Thank you. Right, good news. The pill worked. I didn't poop myself. <laughs> Holding off the inevitable. But wait. You can't hold the inevitable. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well. Now, we have an achievement called Slow Typer. Um, I've just got to wait light until the clock runs out. So, again, if you have anything that's going to take about 33 seconds. Uh, well, my friend, uh, I just w I just want to say at this point, uh, we would we are raising money to support Crisis, a charity supporting people out of homelessness for good. They achieve this through education, training, and support with housing, employment, and health. Ninety percent of your donations will go towards supporting Crisis. That's nine zero percent. Ten percent will go towards UKSG's future events. Thank you all for helping us raise so much money. And, uh, yeah, let's keep those donations coming, folks. <laughs> Back to you, Howley Mad Mike. Oh, my God, it's peeking its head. Oh, uh, poor, poor man. Right, we have two achievements left. Um, one of them is called, uh, well, literally, I'm, I'm not even going to bother playing the game. I'm, I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm just, it's called pooping at the starting gun, so... <laughs> Uh, we have one achieve achievement left called seppuku, which for those of you who may know your Japanese, uh, so play. And I don't even bother, I just die. <laughs> <laughs> as your vision fades, you hear a soft <laughs> and you're, as you poop yourself. So, uh, she's, I'm, uh, I'm trying to think what that achievement is. I've, I've, I really know, I know this game so well. And I there we go. I don't even bother just taking my pants off, I just go, meh. <laughs> So there we are, we are officially the king of pooping. <laughs> and I have the crown to prove it. <laughs> but he dies anyway. <laughs> so we are moving. Now, I have to admit, this wasn't originally in my submissions. <laughs> but I felt a bit left out with a lack of any Sonic game. So this is Sonic Boom, and this is by far and away the greatest Sonic game I have played today. I will give you... Uh, <laughs> That is, that may be a bit crude, but that, uh, I'm sorry, this will not take long. <laughs> For those of you struggling to read that, the plot is that I have to stop Dracula. Tails has given me a bomb to do it, but he hasn't just given it me, he's hidden it somewhere on the level. Uh, I'm just going to move along with this as quick as I can. <laughs> Whoops, and Sonic is dead. Yeah, this is every bit as terrible as it looks. Oh. Oh my lordy lordy, Dracula's won again. We go again. Go Lord help me if this is the one game that I actually struggle on. Right, right we're over. Right, big jump. There we go. Right, I have the detonator. Dracula, I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Sonic had to take himself out to take down Dracula, but... Right, it's a Sunday as well, and we all need our daily dose of church, so the next game is Run Jesus Run. This is going to be the uh, Gospel of Jesus in about 10 seconds. So, space, do Jesus things. <laughs> I walk on water. Whoops. There you go. Do that. Healing sick people. And there we go. All going well. I will have 12 disciples and we have what I think can only be called the good ending. <laughs> right. We are on to a game called Murder. And I may even throw it open for a little audience participation with this one. I will start off, so if somebody wants to come over, anyone? 
Scan. Anyone? You? Jerry. Come. <laughs> let's go, Jerry. Let's go. Yeah. Right, the first objective is I have to kill the king. Hopefully he's not going to turn around. There we go. I have killed the king. I have taken his crown. I am usurping his throne. <laughs> Cherry, your job is to press space when you think somebody is about to kill you. If you do it too soon, you won't catch them in the act. If you do it too late, they'll bash your head in. <laughs> That's one to the dungeon. Uh, you can leave this guy. He has a red potion. That means he's going to heal us. Green potions are bad. <laughs> oh, you're out, Cherry. Somebody else? Who's next? We are going to get one king across the line here. Yes, we are. King Elmo the first. I'm not really <laughs> so again, I will just get things rolling. There we go. We have King Skem Me. Long may he reign and throw people in his dungeon. <laughs> now green potion bad. <gasps> oh, you're doing very well. <laughs> you clearly know when to look over your shoulder. Ain't nobody murdering me. Remember that's red, so he's friendly. Filling your dungeon up quite nicely. <laughs> You're getting very near the end here. Oh, I like that. Green bad. Green bad. <laughs> and you are safe. King Skemmy is going to live to rule his people somewhat be benevolently. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. And I'm going to let this play out just because, you know, we need to see how evil Skemmy looks on his throne. Moving on, I'm not quite certain how this one is going to display. I think this may be okay, though. This is called There Is No Game. Because there is no game. This is not a game. And again, I'm going to be looking for a volunteer, so if somebody wants to come and sit down... Hello, user. I'm not going to let this play out, but short version is we have a narrator here you telling me that there is not the a game, and I'm going to convince back. him otherwise. Put the ladder back. Seriously, are you going to? I'll try and shut him up him? until he says there is a game. He <laughs> thinks I'm trying to kill him. <laughs> you're, you're trying to kill me. Okay then. Okay, this is one of the few technical parts. There we go. I actually got that Stop on the second go. I think we're good. You're stubborn as a mule. Call Superman for that one. <laughs> uh, just in case. 
a few crypt in it. A few crypt in it. <laughs> I know. And there we go. Right. Yes, yes, go on. So we this have ruined this sign. And we what are going to... Mess. Well, the, the, the overall I arching point the of this game is to make a game. Just what do you think you're doing? So yes, we are going to remove something that was screwed onto no. the back and... Uh, Don't look! <gasps> Don't look, it's private! And all you're of a sudden... A terrible mistake. There is a game! No, 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 no. I'm passing it over to you because it is quite possibly the worst game, a breakout, you could ever hope to play. This is the only time-sensitive part of the run, so no pressure. Um, but you need to beat this before he suggests what we need to do next. They can kill me, you know? Please. Stop hitting the bricks! They are cheating! I must find a way to stop you. Oh, I <laughs> oh no, we took your it ball off you. Now without the ball. But if you go and move your mouse over there, then you can have another ball. <laughs> that is no more for Leave now, please. I, I don't feel... Oh no. They are here. Glitches. Glitches no, you're fine. Just keep on playing your bad game of breakout. I told you to stop. You must find a way to get rid of them. Oh, this is a disaster. Now, oh, but he's doing very well. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 What the developer would implement well. Thank you. That was that, and you actually are ahead of schedule. So the game is filling up with glitches. You can go back to see that one. <laughs> you can stay there if you like. But <laughs> I don't know how, but try to find one of these three things. Right, his game is breaking. We need one of three things to fix it. We need uh, beautiful women, uh, zombies with a lot of blood, or we need a goat. We have a goat, but uh, I don't okay. want the goat just yet because uh, I am technically supposed to be sort of speedrunning this. So we also need a tree. You'll find out why shortly. So there we go. There is a tree, and there is a tree. Well, this is a small tree. It is a small tree. If only it was bigger. Well, if only. How can we make it bigger? Well, water works. Look, the key. Right, and there's a squirrel flying off with my key. So let's water the tree. You must get it back. Find a ladder or something to go up. Something you can. We're getting there. Right, we have our tree. But Mr. Squirrel isn't just going to give us the key for nothing. We need to uh, trade him a nut. Get out of its shell. We use that block with a crypt in it. We give him the key. Uh, we give him the uh, nut, rather. He drops the key. Don't scroll down. You've got the key. Now, free the goat to transform that glitchy program into a commercial hit. Save the goat. Save give the Give me the key, please. And there we are. The goat is free. No! The goat was alive! The goat was alive! No! It's getting worse. More glitches. I'm... It hasn't crashed, don't worry. But there is I'm, no game, no. I'm not dead. I'm alive! I was wrong. It was a bad idea. Everything disappeared. Except me. I'm so sorry. I put you in danger. So he started so out I rather thought. nasty and now he's like... Please. He wants to know if... Me? Do we forgive him? Of no. course not. <laughs> and that is not a game. Right, we're on to our penultimate game already. This is Super Norris, because, you know, this was the early 2000s, so everything had to be about Mr. Chuck Norris. Uh, this is our only appearance. This is the closest we've... For all the Sonic, this is the, I only put this in because this is the closest we're getting to Mario at this event. So this is Super Norris. <laughs> there is actually some kind of tech to this in that if I jump... Right, there's Princess Daisy, but no, I'll just stomp on her because Super Norris, he saves nobody. And that's, that's the end of Super Norris. That's it. Super Norris saves no one. And now we're on to the visitor part two. This is our final game. 
Another reminder, yeah, maybe uh, 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 put children away from the stream for the next uh, five minutes? No, let them watch it, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, th th this does hold some very uh, alarming scenes, so yeah. Yes, yes it, 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 it jokes aside, if you do have young children, then yes. Uh, don't let them watch this hilarious violence. Right, we are already back, and we have a raccoon here. So, uh, but uh, if I just go to Mr. Raccoon, he's uh, not going to be very friendly. So, scare him off first. I need to get into this bin so he can eat, because uh, I'm a very nice and benevolent uh, visitor. So, get the pin off, and, you know, I'm just going to hide in that. I don't know why. Oh, and here he comes back, and Mr. Raccoon. <laughs> I have raccoon claws. <laughs> Right, we have a skunk here eating from a tin, but we're not using Mr. Skunk just yet. We're going to use what's in the tin to attract a spider, because yes, if this couldn't get any more terrifying, we're going to get spider powers. So yes, we now have the ability to web things. But we need to get that skunk back, and to do that, we need to give him more food. So let's start a fire. The tin of beans, what, what I presume is beans, explodes, and here comes Mr. Skunk. The visitor shall descend into the shadows. Ah, Mr. Skunk's having a bad day. <laughs> so now we have the power to uh, claw, web, and stink. So now we need to go inside and start finding some people. There we have a uh, doggy. We're going to get the doggy kicked out. Bad dog. Get outside. But we have a little scorpion in there, so we're going to, you know, scorpion powers. You know, give us that nice little stinger. Outside we go. Sorry, Fido. <laughs> so we web him, we stick him, we climb in, and we've got dog mouth powers now. Now, if I just go for this man, he will shoot me. Because he's not a very pleasant man. So I need to basically both distract him and somewhat disable his shooting arm. So I get him to accidentally spill a bit of uh, whiskey on it. Uh, we get his lighter. And then we create a bit of flame for him. I mean, I don't know why we just don't just burn him anyway. But, you know. Right. His gun arm is disabled. He's looking thoroughly depressed. Again, if you're a nervous disposition, look away now. Right, there is his wife. Presumably um, not happy at his death. I'm not sure why. Uh, we're going to get a beer bottle to bait her because she has a gun too. Now, there are multiple endings to this game. I'm just going to go for the most horrific. So, we web the gun. <laughs> we gas her to make it unwell. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> we make a hole. And then we crawl in. And we are the ultimate creature. <laughs> and that is the visitor 2. That is Flash Dash. Thank you, everyone at UKSG Red for having me. No, oh, we're under. We're, I'm under. I could let yes. that run for another four minutes. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> uh, something, something with uh, the back end, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thank you, everyone at UK SG Red for having me. It has been a blast and for allowing me to showcase this. Thank you for Tech for figuring that out because we had a last-minute hitch and we weren't quite certain how this was going to work out. But we, <laughs> we, we conquered it. So if anyone wants to keep that $5 tech, uh, tech train going, please do because they were a huge help in uh, getting that over the line. But, yes, thank you, everyone at UK SG. I'm Hallie Mad Mike, and we are now moving over. Oh, and donations as well. We've yes. got Super Metroid coming up, so this is probably in the next few minutes is your last chance to decide whether we are going to save the animals or just assimilate them and become some kind of hybrid super creature. So, yeah. Incredible <laughs> stuff. Well, if there's one thing that we can say about these last few runs of this UKSG is that none of them is boring whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Never a dull moment with these Flash games. But yes, I want to leave you off with two final donations here. $25 from Prof Monkeys saying, 
as of this time, Baby Monkeys has changed her position back to save the animals, which must be taken as her final answer. I'm happy to say that she landed on my preferred outcome. And yes, all 25 has gone to save the animals. We also have $10 from Bum Cow saying, have to donate for this flash run. Non-stop la laughs. Well done. That's going towards kill the animals. So... <laughs> Just over $200 separating our two options here and uh, an entire Super Metroid run to make that final decision. So keep those donations coming. We're going to go to a quick intermission and afterwards it's Super Metroid time. Let's do this.